Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to move an email in a shared mailbox to a different folder using Power Automate. Before getting started, we need to clarify that there is not an out-of-the-box action to achieve this. However, this can be done using Microsoft Graph API. To be able to use this API, we need to go to the Azure portal. Then search for Azure Active Directory and once there, click on App Registrations. Let's click on New Registration and let's assign a name. For the supported account types, I'm going to select the first option. And then in the redirect URL, I'm not going to put anything and just click on Register. Once this is ready, we need to go to the Certificates and Secrets blade and then click on New Client Secret. I'm going to assign a name and then I'm going to set it to never expire. However, you can change that depending on your setup. I'm just gonna click Add and this is going to make a new record to show up in this area of the screen. Here, we will see a client secret value and a client secret ID. You need to make sure that you copy the client secret value in this step of the process. Otherwise, you may not be able to access it anymore. Now that we have the client secret, let's go to API permissions. Here is where we are going to allow the Microsoft Graph API to access to the shared folder and do actions on it. As you can see, there's only one permission, permission set up as default. Let's click on add permission and we have several options here and we need to select Microsoft Graph. On the next window, we have uh, two selections, delegated permission and application permissions. The difference between those two is that the delegated permission need a user to be signed in, meaning that you need a user and a password. However, if we use the application permissions, we don't need any user or any password. We can authenticate our API call just by using the client secret and, this, and, the, and the client ID. However, you need to know that some actions may not be available. If you want to know more on that, we need to go to the documentation of the Microsoft Graph API and every action that they have documentation on has a permissions section in which you can see if that specific action is available for the specific uh, permissions that you have added to your API. In this case, as you can see, the mail folder move is available for both delegated and application permissions. That means that you can either access to this API with a password and a user, or you can just do it with the, with the client secret and the, and the application ID. There are some other actions that are not available. For example, if you want to create a, a new plan under the planner application, if we move to that one, you can see here that if we assign a delegated permission, then it is supported. If we assign an application permission, then it is not supported. So, so far, if you don't have a password and a user for, for this specific action, then you cannot create a new plan under the planner application through their API. Now, let's go back to the move action. And as you can see, along with the permission type, you can also see what permission you need to assign to the, to the application to be able to perform the action. In this case, the only thing that we need is the mail that read write. So I'm going to I'm going back to Azure and since I'm not gonna use password and user, I am going to select application permissions. Then here we can search for mail. Once there we can see all the options available since the documentation is telling us that this is the only permission that, that is this action need, then in that case that's the only one that we should be adding. Then let's click on add permission and you will see this status not granted for your tenant. So let's just click on grant, grant admin consent, then hit yes and our API is ready for access. Now let's go back to the overview tab and we have several IDs here. In this case, we need to take note of the tenant ID and also we need to take note of the application ID. Now we have everything that we need to get started on Power Automate. However, before moving to that, we need to know that this Graph API first need you to authenticate to give you an access code for your client credentials. And only after you have that code, you can perform an action using the API. So normally you would require two HTTP calls, once for authentication. And once you get the access code, you use it in your second HTTP call to actually performing an action. 
I'm going to test this. And as you can see, the first HTTP call is getting an access token that we are later using in our second HTTP call to perform the action. If you were coding this in, for example, JavaScript or any other language, you would need two HTTP calls. However, Power Automate has some functionalities to allow you to authenticate using Azure directory. So we are going to leverage that feature and use it for our flow. If we go back to the Microsoft documentation and we see the example, we see that moving a message from its original folder to a different one is a post request and it requires to have the, the message ID and also requires to have what is the folder ID that we want to move this email to. So before building this action, we need to see what is the folder ID. So I'm going to click on new flow and then instant. And there I'm going to select manually trigger a flow. So let's click new step and then call the HTTP action. So I am going to going to move to mails and then mail folder and go to the list mail folders. Let's go to the example. And this is a request with a get method. So we're going to select get here. And then in the URL, we're going to use the example that they are providing. And in this case, we don't want my mail folders. We want the mail folders under the shared folder. So we're going to type users and then slash, and then we're going to type the shared email. And then to authenticate, we are going to click on show advanced options, then select active directory OAuth. And then in authority, we're going to leave that blank because we're going to use the default that they are using. And then in tenant, we need to copy the tenant ID that we retrieved from Azure. In audience, we are going to use HTTPS graph.microsoft.com. Then in client ID, we are going to retrieve the application ID from Azure. And in the credential type, we are going to select secret and then use the client secret value that we retrieved from Azure as well. So now let's hit save and then let's execute the test. And as you can see, we are getting in the response, the list of mail folders under our shared email. And we are doing all of this with one single HTTP call because Power Automate has this functionality in which you can authenticate using the Active Directory. So uh, this is the response that we got from, from Microsoft. Here we have the inbox folder where all emails are coming. And here is the folder that we want to move this email to, which is the filed folder. So I'm just going to copy this ID and save it for, for later. And now that we have this, we are ready to build our actual flow. So I'm going uh, back to Power Automate and start a new flow, new automated flow. Then let's search for the trigger when a new email arrives in a shared mailbox and assign a name and then hit on create. First thing we need to do is to select which is the shared email that we want to have this trigger on. And then these, the following steps can depend on your specific process. If you have any approval or any other or any steps in your process, then this is the time to add it. In this case, my only business condition is that I want everything that comes from this sender to be automatically moved to a different folder. So I'm going to click a new step and I am going to copy the action that we just built in the test flow because we are going to pretty much reuse all the authentication parts. So I'm just going to copy it from the to the clipboard and then paste it here. So let's go back to the message move action. And as you can see, this is a post request. So I'm going to change the method to post. I'm going to also take a look at the URL. The first part is the same. And then we have me, which we already replaced by user slash in the, in the email. And then we have messages, message, message ID and the word move. So this is what we need to replace and put it instead of mail folders. So now we have this and pretty much what we just need to do is to change this message ID 
that Microsoft providing the sample and delete it and replace it by the message ID that is coming from the email trigger outputs. And now the, the next part is telling Power Automate to which folder we want to move this to. So we're gonna copy the, um, the body sample that they provide and paste it in the body. In this case, destination ID should remain as it is. And now we're gonna copy the ID that we just got from the previous sample and replace it here. Then let's just hit save and let's perform the action. And now we have received the email. And once it finishes, it's gonna move the email to the desired folder. And that's it for this video. We hope you find it useful. We are PowerGI.